for years and even now we talk about gender equity as the right thing to do which it is but it is also a massive economic opportunity Pipeline actually started with research. We did a research study across 4,000 companies in 29 countries. And what we found was that for every 10% increase in intersectional gender equity, there's a one to 2% increase in revenue. When we looked at the market, what we found was that CEOs recognize this opportunity. 96% of them put equity in their top priorities the issue is that only 22% of employees regularly see it shared and measured. So you have this 74 point gap between what companies say is important and believe is important and their employer branding and the actual employee experience. Our goal is to close that. One of the things that's a popular part of the equity narrative is the pay gap. Right now in the U.S., if you are experiencing um, inequitable pay, you have to speak up about it. What pipeline software does is flip that on its head. We have to change systems at scale and move from a default inequitable system to a default equitable system. So from a pay perspective, what we do is actually let employers know before they make a pay decision that there's an equity gap, give them a recommendation to fix it, and then they can actually fix it. And through that, we actually then catapult companies toward equity and ensure that those decisions are also in their best financial interest. Why we focus on intersectional gender equity is that typically whenever you represent two or more demographics, so Black women, Latinas, women over the age of 45, they tend to be farther behind younger white women. Let me give you an example of what we have found. We have found that on average, men are promoted at a rate of 21% greater than women. When you look at that, that data through the lens of intersectional gender equity, that gap actually doubles. So for Black women, men are promoted at a rate of 42% greater than Black women. That's the power of using an intersectional gender equity lens in software.